car. Um, we've just arrived and check out that backdrop. So today is all about liveies. Um, we're going to drop some liveies deep and put some liveies in close. Yeah, we're going to put some burley in the water, try and get some liveies um, set up and um, then we're going to deploy them out using the drone. So a few techniques today. We've got some of the um, target snapper hook ledger rigs, the PFS um, ledger rigs, and uh, we're going to put them out. Um, we're going to slide bait using the drone as well. Um, so we're going to put that out, and then we're going to put some liveies on our drone backbones as well. So um, we're going to be having a go at all of it today. Um, now that's all well and good, but the first mission um, that we've got to get done is we've got to catch some liveies. So uh, we're going to unpack, get our gear down on the beach, and then we'll see you soon. Hopefully with some liveies coming. Yeah, we've had to up and shift locations. Um, where we were, there was just way too much weed. Um, we started getting into liveys and that just became a nightmare. So we thought, nah, rather than persisting here using too much of our day, we'll quickly pack down, shoot up the road. And um, we found a place that doesn't have any weed at all. And um, there's quite a bit of reef around, so we might be able to tuck into some um, kingies here. If not, we'll be in the, in the runnings for some snapper. So let's get it going. Awesome. So here we are. We're... Um this is our Saragossa on our Shimano Trapper Rod, our five-piece bad boy. And um, I'll just show you this rig. This is a ledger rig that I've made up at home. It's got a 9 bar O livey hook. Down the bottom here, I've just made a blood loop where I've fastened my um, uh, release wire to it. And then just below that is our six-ounce sinker. Um, I've put rubber band on it as well, just so that it grips really, really strong, because we're going to be putting out um, a livey on the setup. And, um, if you come with me, we've got the livey, so... Right. So we'll just get this. Well, that's connecting to the drone. We'll grab this live. I haven't put this one out too far because the king is going to come through here. It's not going to be out too long. It's going to be trolling, be patrolling that wind. That's it. That's 
a uh, beautiful little ivy right there, a little kawai that we've uh, turned into a flying fish and um, that's only sitting out about 150 metres and uh, as you saw I lowered it down if it's a really rough day just be very careful but I lowered it down so that um, when I dropped the ivy it wasn't a huge impact on the fish because I do want to keep it alive um, yeah now that's sitting out there nice and close we'll do we'll get some more maybe some smaller livings we'll send them out a bit deeper see if a kingy or a, car, a big snapper comes along um, yeah and we'll keep fishing and hopefully something comes along and sees this kahawai and thinks that's that's going to be and uh, we'll cut to that footage as well so there we go deploying a livey via the drone exciting now we've got to stay focused because all i want to do now is watch this world too. a couple more liveys out there and uh some kingies come awesome. Beautiful size. We're going to do slide baiting on this rod here. Just a sinker. We've got a trace going to a swivel with a bead. slide that livey up there. It's going to be method number two today. We've got quite a sizable livey on a um, ledger rig out about 150, probably 120 now. Um, and then we've got a long line out there with, um, with some of the bait that we caught at our first place, um, the first posse we were at. Um, so we, we couldn't transport that with us, so we um, decided we'd keep them as fresh baits to deploy. Let me just get um yeah so we've put them out on the long line that's starting to get some hits as well now um and then yeah just this rod here that's just been cast out we're going to slide bait the um the next livey out so what we're aiming to do is have liveys out in multiple different methods um across the beach so could be a good day or it could be a very very quiet day but um look if you're out there and you've been asking me a lot of questions about how to catch a kingfish off the beach this is definitely a good way to go about having a crack at them so um two methods Livey. A slide clip yep. okay this is how simple it is. And that'll just slide down. It's a non-return slide clip. Um, so that can only go one way, and that one way is down towards your sinker. And on a beach like this, where you've got quite a nice slope, this type of method is going to be dynamite. So we might get one more out on the slider, actually. Okay, just had a few big whacks on this um, ledger rig set up. Either that was the car wide freaking out or something's having a go at him, having a look at him, hopefully. False alarm, false alarm. There we go, those fellas are out there. Just to show you, there's a lot of bait fish around a place like this. And that's why we stopped here to have a look. So we go, we've got the slide baiting live bait. We've got one on a ledger that we dropped out with a drone. And over there we've just got a long line with some of the fresh bait we caught this morning. So, it's all go. It's all go. Alright, here's 
our next livey. So we had a few hits on the um, Kahawai that we deployed earlier. I left it out a bit longer to see if anything came along, but um, yeah, sadly we stole the bait. Because I haven't brought any bridle rigging gear, I'm going to do it old school like I would have for rocks. Um, because I'm using such a big hook, I'll typically come up to here. I'll do a start peak like that. The heel gets away from its brain. That'll just swim along for a while. Piper out about 300 meters. So, um, and on that particular set, I took it out, got it up to 20 meters, took it out nice and clean, um, and then I dropped it down to about 12 meters, um, stopped it moving, um, deployed the bait, and then brought it home. So, the only reason why I do that is to look after the liveys, make sure they're not hitting the water too hard and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, it just gives you a good shot at something decent out deep. So this is the deepest livey drop we've done um, and what I might do soon chuck about three or four on a uh, long line rig see if we can turn something up um, it's been an awesome day man so we've just been putting liveys out um, in close nice and close because there's a lot of bait fish uh, working just behind the breakers um, and because it's quite a nice um, drop off here there's a bit of a dump the, the bait fish actually aren't out too far so what we've been doing is, is sticking our liveys out just where they would be kind of controlling anyway um, and this one's on our one hook ledger rig down the end there we've got the slide baiting uh, rig going as well and um, yeah we'll, we'll do a bit more um, fishing for liveys and stuff and then I think I might deploy three maybe three or four on a livey rig uh, on a the PFS drone hook section so um, surely four of them has got to put something on the deck so um, we're working hard for it today but uh, hey I'll tell you what it's been pretty cool we've put out a, a live car wire we've put out a um, pipe of the car wire got whacked um, sadly didn't, didn't get a hook up um, completely forgot to bring some bridle rigging gear so we're having to do it old school um, Man, it's been an awesome, awesome day. So, yeah, a bit more action to be had, and we're going to probably fish um, into the afternoon, evening. So, we'll see. Maybe change the light will turn something up in our favour. But, hey, in the meantime, it's going to be awesome. Awesome. So, um, this is the third and probably the final rig that we'll be using today. Um, this is our target ledger rig um, from the fishing systems. Basically, two hooks that can freely swim. Um, around your, your uh, backbone and uh, these beads just provide it with a bit of float keep it off the bottom um, but also if you're not using liveys like I'm going to do helps to um, get a bit of movement in your bait so basically you just cat's pull your sinker on just like that pull the crook back through so that's now down the bottom and then up the top that swivel that goes to your main line um, and uh, in our case today, I'm going to be putting two liveys that we've just caught, um, one on each hook. So that's going to be the next hook, uh, rig that we use. Um, and you can get these in uh, 
can store four switching systems 39A Nelson Street only hunger or you can check them out on our website www.fishingtapplesale.co.nz and um, yeah get this out there so just a bit of recap we've reset our liveies um, we've got fresh ones out we've got a live piper um, on the Saragossa setup with the Shimano Traveller rod and then on the far side we're slide baiting with a uh, Finno Offshore 10500 and a um, Shimano Backbone Elite and then, uh, we're going to do a two hook um, PFS Ninja Rig so get this hooked up alright so typically on the end of our rods we'll have a bead to protect the top um, they're pretty much the top side of our rod um, and then with cats pulled on our swivel so in this case because the rig has its own swivel I'm basically basically going to take this one off again like so cool so there's our swivel pocket Quite a big loop here. Save having too much stuff going on on the line. I'm going to do the unthinkable right now, and I'm going to thread this entire rig through just like that. Now it's caught on, and uh, we've got our rig ready to go. Awesome. So um. They, these rigs here, they come with different coloured beads, but um, amazing for things like John Dory. Freedom, uh, the, the live bait gets a bit of um, freedom to move around the backbone, so it um, doesn't matter what the current's doing, they'll look, they'll be looked after. Um, yeah, we've got our target snapper hooks on it as well, and um, these things are scientifically proven um, to catch more fish and to catch less undersized fish because of that little wire appendage right there. So, um, yeah. Check them out. Alrighty. I just realised our lively tank's running out of uh, oxygen and these fellas were stunned up to our ground, so we hook them on like so and uh, we'll send them out there. Awesome. So, um, because I'm going to be using this on a drone, um, what I'm going to do is let this free slide up and down here like so. Um, I'm going to then re cats pull my swivel on the bottom of the rig. That should be there. And now that'll sit down the bottom here like that. Um, and we can send this out with the drone. So, One's out 550 and uh just slack line in. and then uh, see if that gets us onto some fish. Right, so our results so far um, pretty much every live is getting stripped off the blinking hook or eaten eaten by the small stuff um, so sorry bring it around the side 
Um, so what we're probably going to do now, um, now that we've run out of liveies, is set up some of the long lines, the six hook long lines, um, cotton on some baits and try and send them out wide. I think that's going to be our best bet to take home some, some fresh fish. So um, yeah, I mean today was a trial and error. Stopped off at a new beach, never fished here before, never been here before, um, and wanted to trial out the old live bait um, methods or, or ways to deploy live baits off the beach or with a drone. And um, sharks, it was a beautiful day, it was awesome. Um, successful in terms of being able to deploy those liveies. Um, we put out a reasonably sized kawaii. Um, we did a set on a ledger rig. We did slide baiting so a few different options there and um, I mean check out some of my previous videos um, to see uh, slide baiting on its own um, slide baiting at night we call a decent snapper um, a year ago or well, a few years ago um, slide baiting at night so plenty of videos to give you an idea as to how slide baiting works off the rocks wharf um, or off the beach so yeah go back through and check out some of our, our other videos um, yeah, but I think it's time we, we started to set out some long lines, get these rods bouncing, and um, hey, we'll do some deep drops, I think, it's, you know, six, 700 meter drops, get a, f a fresh battery with our FD1, and uh, tuck into them. Sweet. We'll see you soon. Sweet. So, um, just another little tip for your uh, fishing on the beach, if it's like what we've had going on today, um, lots of birds around. Bury your bait in the sand till you're ready to deal with it. Um, these birds are blinking competitive bunch of men, so every time you turn your back, one of them is flying around with your bait in its mouth. So um, I, I found today just burying them in the sand has meant um, I've not had to keep shooing them away. So just a quick little tip there. So what I'm doing here is um, just trying to, I'm pretty much just pulling the line, not, not too much pressure but enough, um, enough that I'm slowing down the rate that it's coming off the reel because uh, there's a bit of a side wind on the beach and I'm wanting to keep my line as straight as I can possibly get it. Right, get the 600, no, let's get 700, get the 700. sure that's coming home. Yep. No worries. That's a pretty straight line, yeah? so mission accomplished. <laughs>
Rome. So there you go. And that's typically if I'm doing um, a couple of rods, I typically have them all baited up, set up just like that. Um, I don't recommend air loading the, um, the drones unless you've had a, a fair bit of experience with them. So um, as you can see, I'm pretty comfortable with these drones now, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just trying to get as much out of the battery as I possibly can. And uh, this one's gonna land now. So I'm gonna catch this one just to save a bit more battery. We've got a few more sets before the sun goes down. So uh, here he comes. But um, yeah, hopefully we'll show you guys some fish soon. Awesome. So the next product that I wanted to give a bit of a demo on is the Owns Drop Zone Mesh. Basically it comes on a small spool like this and uh, it gives you the ability to be able to burly on your long line. So pretty cool, pretty cool. It's um, biodegradable So, and I'll, I'll give you a bit of a demonstration on how fast this thing disintegrates in water um, because it's pretty impressive. Um, and basically you tie a knot on one end roll out how, however much you're wanting Maybe. with pellets because you need to keep this dry as long as you possibly can as soon as it gets wet it starts to uh, disappear so it's just gonna sit inside our mesh like so tie a knot on the other end don't be too fussed about the knots you're going to use because it's going to disappear soon anyway so then it'll just sit like that and then uh, you tie it onto your, your backbone so come with me too much about the knot your time because this mesh is literally going to disappear. So, then sit like right that. Now we've got a little bit of early going out with our baits. So, um, I'll give you a little bit of a breakdown as to how it works now. Come take over. Choice. So, um, yeah, I'm just packing another one just to give you a bit of a demo as to how this stuff works. That's just tied off like that. There's our little burly pellets and watch this. that it's starting to come apart and disappear.
put some burley on your long line, chuck it out on your surf casters. Hey, we've now got a way that's biodegradable, it is eco-friendly to get some burley out there. Not worry about snagging up, not worry about uh, getting all changed and all that sort of stuff. And it is super cheap, crazy, easy to do, and uh, hopefully it means a lot more fish come up on the deck. So just check it now. Turned into almost like a um, like an oily. I can't to explain. It's almost like an oily, um, oily rubber now. Wow, I can literally see it. Yeah, wow, that's cool. That is cool. Well, there you go. I'm gonna go tidy this up now, but um, get some burly out on your long line. So check them out, they're the Drop Zone Mesh by Owns and um, we've got them in store. Awesome. Good on. That took that um, little kahawai. Yeah, singing the last hook. Of course. Well, that one there will go probably 35, and that one there a heck of a lot bigger. So, and it must have been my blinking sink is not letting go, eh? Because um, it felt a lot heavier than that, that's for sure. But hey, I'm not. Stopping at this, this is a um, nice snapper in anyone's book. So there you go. Beautiful. And we've still got a 
bit of sunlight, so we'll probably drop one or two more rods out. And then um, let that go into dark. We'll start picking up while that's out there and yeah, get, get set to head home. So there we go. It's the good thing about a drone, eh? Like today we've spent all day just playing, trying to use liveys in different ways, um, trying to figure out how to get them out there with um, the drones, slide baiting, all sorts of different leg, uh, rigs. And then uh, at the end of the day, it's like, well, let's just drop the long line out to make sure that we catch something. And um, it's almost it's almost that easy. So, yeah, got some snapper in the bin now. We'll put these on salt ice. And just again, man, I want to say this. I'm going to say this as many times as I can. Always put your fish in salt ice. Summertime, don't, don't let your fish go to waste. Don't let it uh, deteriorate in the sun. Chuck it in a chili bin, salt ice. It'll be beautiful for dinner. So... Yeah, I'm going to put these things on ice. Um, see you soon. Don't forget to look up our YouTube channel, Outdoor Adventures with Kays, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified every time we upload a new video.